Good to be free. I like, uh, what's his name? Kyogo. Kyogo? I don't know, but I would say that. K-Y-O-G-O. I think I've seen that name, so I'll check it out. This is slow or about fast. Yeah. Wow. Well. Ha. I didn't believe I could make it. Oh, brother. You like Rufus? Yeah, I, I think so. I'm not going to, you know, I don't always remember. I know that name. I'm sure. The name? Hmm. Because I know you. Just get up here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this song that you posted on um, on Facebook that time, so where the guy like walks through oh, the yeah, beach. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah. Are we are we rolling? Uh, the magician. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, that's, yeah, that's like classic house, and that's up tempo. Ah. Uh, I was listening to this guy named John Oliver. Oh, yeah. Do you listen to him? No, but I know him. I mean, I know of him. Yeah, he's just a comedian like that really funny guy, David Lehrer. Is yeah. that who it is? But he's English and he's, he, you know, he similarly makes jokes and gives you information. Mm -hmm. So this is cool. He, the last one I was watching was about Jason, you know, Koss, what is his name? Kozler, Kozmer. The like son-in-law son that has his position, and he said it was pretty funny. He said this guy is supposed to do like six areas: Middle East, peace. Oh, uh, sure. I mean, there was just a lot of them. And he said this guy had basically has everything to do and no background. No, he was talking about the fact that he got into Harvard, but his high school was surprised he ever got into Harvard. Maybe you heard this because Jason Cosner, Cosner, um, um, Cosner, because he Kirchner. he said Kirshner. So anyway, he got his, his his high school was saying, we don't know how this guy got into Harvard. His GPA, his SATs, nothing. And But you know, then the story surfaced that his dad had given $2.5 million to Harvard. That wouldn't make any and difference. wouldn't make any difference. So, I or would it? I watched a bunch of them. They were pretty Or funny. would it? Uh, I don't yeah. know. It usually takes a whole building to get a kid like that in the school. <laughs> and then, then there were... There was like, well, what does his voice sound like? I mean, have we ever heard? What have we ever heard him speak? And it was funny because they gave him a really funny voice. And they said, but the guy said, well, how do you know that's not his voice? We've never actually heard him speak. And people say he is a brilliant guy. He never says anything. He listens a lot. <laughs> it's just like. I like that. <clears throat> that's how you're going to determine it. So I decided to go into listening mode. Then I'll appear very brilliant. Mm. It was a contrast between Ivanka, or both of them were kind of exposed. Mm. How do we know she's giving him good advice was the theme because she doesn't, she doesn't, she won't t say on any of the issues she has, quote, advised him or softened his viewpoint. But then, and then she says in her own book that if somebody is, makes an assumption about you that is incorrect but is favorable to you or your positions, just accept it, don't deny it. And so, <laughs> right, so it was, it was pretty funny. I mean, that, <clears throat> good advice. Her mother's. She learned so. well. I gave you the compact version because I know there are many dreamers, at least two here, with big dreams. Really? Well, let's do them. Yeah. Who's first? Can I get this? No. These? Yeah. Do you have the an epic? Oh, I have to go second. You guys can switch uh, places. <laughs> can I sit here? Yeah. Sure. <clears throat> are there no more? There. Wow. Oh, thank you. I think wow. we need to use That's smaller print. Do you have another phone? Oh, sorry. There's a whole stack of them. You just don't think there are because they stopped with David for some <laughs> probably <laughs> Australian reason. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, anybody else? Or maybe it's just an old dog reason. Or maybe it's an original phone. Oh, Young Indians one. Yeah, there's the dream. Okay, thank you. Oh, Eldar's dream.
Say, I'm willing to move. Yeah. I have yeah. living plants. I have to make the margin smaller. To, to the... Not smaller. It's <laughs> non-existent. <laughs> Remember the name of that voting system, the, the the register system that they used that they kept referring to in the film last night? Oh, yeah, the other cross check. Cross check. Oh, man. Thank you. Okay, I, I got it. Thanks. You won't have to talk about it. What's just, the other one? I, I, the one that would actually work. I three eighty six. Right. I three sixty. Right. Isn't it? Because it's okay. something. I think. Thank you. <laughs> I, I sounded so authoritative. Yeah, you did. It was good. Oh, and you might be right. Makes more sense. 360 is like for a 360 degree view, maybe they named that for, or the original IBM 360, or...
said she slept for the drama on Sunday. Did you get that? Yeah. They make it. It's kind of weird. I I let my. I feel like I'm being influenced by my dad. Hmm. In what way? Like doing things his way. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Where, where do you see that in the dream most here? Where do you see that? Um, when he says... Um, pa which paragraph? In the fifth paragraph. Mm -hmm. when, when he says, we can go that way. And then I'm like, oh, okay. And I kind of, I agree, even though I don't like it. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> uh, what's your role in it apart from that? doing a lot of a lot of seeing mm -hmm. uh, zooming in a lot of um, I don't know what else to call it Is there a problem in the dream? For you. For you. Is there a problem in the dream? Well, I'm... Um, I'm, I'm not... Um, the place where I'm supposed to stay I'm arriving in a bad way. That's, I'm supposed to be staying with these people and from the beginning I'm creating uh, trouble. Mm. Say, are there any issue that you're ignoring in the dream? Other than my dad's uh, influ influence? I, I don't know. Just what would you say? about the dream for you? 
about your role? Okay. Shane, would you just read the fourth paragraph? I'm like, oh look, I'm laughing and it's really funny. My dad is like, mm, I can't really see it. I kind of zoom in and out of the picture again and say, see right there. And I rewind the tape so he can see it. I'm pointing it out and I'm saying, see, see? Uh, she's getting up right there. And I play the thing again. He's like, no, nah, I can't really see it. What's that like at that moment? That's annoying. In what way? Because, like, it's, there's an obvious, there's something obvious that I'm showing him. Yeah. And it's almost like he's pretending not to see it. Is that in the dream? That you can see he's pretending not to see it? I don't know. Um, that's, that's tricky. That's almost in the dream. What, what? It's almost in the dream. Okay. It's like... Um, all, right, all right, all right. It's very... I mean, how could you not see it? It's right there, and it's obvious, and I'm, I'm pointing to it. So it's like I'm trying to make him see something. Well, what's that like right then and there? You're trying to make him see something. Right? Come on, what's it like? Um, it's just frustrating. No, uh, I don't know the word. Come on. Uh, Come on. What are you saying? frustrating, it's, uh, it's annoying, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a drag, it's a, how does he look, give, give me a picture, how does he look at that moment, it's just like, no, no, I don't, I don't see it, it's like he's, it's like he's looking away. Ah, uh, ah, ah. It's like he's looking away on purpose. What do you do about it? I try to point it out, but then he keeps doing it, and then I'm just like, whatever. I just drop it. Yeah, but you're not pointing out what he's doing. That's right. Which is what? As you said, not pretending, seeing the obvious. Pretending. Yeah, 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 yeah. Does that characterize in any way the way you relate to your father? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, there's been a lot of times when I tried to uh, show him something and it's like, I can see that he, he sees it, but then either he doesn't want to see it, or he's too stuck in his head to see it, or mm. whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I find myself trying yeah. harder <clears throat> to... Uh, but you don't challenge what he's doing. Like, do you tell, what would it be like if you were to say, hey, uh, you're looking away. I mean, how is it you're not seeing the visible? It's not subtle, pretty obvious. Right. right. So you rewind the tape and you're pointing it out, but you're not dealing with his refusal to see, are you? Yeah. Hmm? That's, that's what I should be dealing with. Yeah, 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 but we want to know what it's like There's your friend Jeff. for you to know There's that and not do it. Kind of warm over there. 
There's something like, it's like something is stuck in my throat. There's something that needs to be said, but I'm not saying it. And it's like, uh, it's like there's a silencer on my, on my voice. Hmm. Like a... Uh, Have you recognized that at other times? Yeah. Uh, 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 looks like, uh, finish it. Like this. Well, I don't know. I'm guessing it's it's appearing uh, in my life somewhere. Mm. And when did you have the dream? Um, last a few days ago. It was after. Uh, really good day, actually. Yeah, all we want to know is whether or not you were in that kind of a situation where you didn't call on, call someone uh, on doing something similar to what your father is doing in that scene in the dream. That's very likely. Hmm. Because it's a, it's a familiar, it's a very familiar, um, state of mind. But you couldn't pinpoint it down, could you? Couldn't pin it down, could you? Uh, specifically? Mm. Say, so how did you get that lump in your throat? My mom is always saying, shh, be quiet, be quiet, don't say anything. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's she's kind of, a teacher. That's something that and she says. she's a teacher. Oh, what do you think of your teacher? It's really bad. Oh. It's really bad. Oh, and it turns out to be your mother. Like, whenever there is a situation where me or her should say something and where mm -hmm. we ought to say something, mm -hmm. um, she does that thing. Ah. And it's... Uh, yeah, yeah. And you do want to keep in good... good shape with her. Good standing, yeah. 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 So she got you as an ally. Don't rock the boat. Yeah, it's like this really weird um, mm -hmm. way that um, my mom and I used to relate to each other. It's like we're these like it's like we're these two um, like war victims huddled together and <laughs> hiding. No oh god. And she's like, no, no, don't shh, be quiet. As if there's like yeah. some soldiers, you know, we might get shot or something. Yeah. Sure. That's how it looks, the way she's hushing yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, do you notice how you get to get that information is by uh, some kind of zooming in on some kind of a electronic gizmo, right? Yeah. It's like a... A good Google kind of thing? Yeah, like we're on the computer and... We're zooming in on Google Maps, and the more I zoom in, the more detail there is. Yeah. I like the, the uh, judgment you make uh, that this is a good place to go to, as you discover. In that uh, uh, by the way, is that correct? Or do you find the things going on there that you'd rather not be around? It seems, it seems like a good place for me. It's, Physically I'm, or psychically? Oh, sure. Uh, I'm not sure. 
at the beginning it, it, it appears very I, I feel like I'm going there for some kind of experience um, with or for your father well, he's, he's not even, um, I don't think he's even supposed to be part of the trip. He, he was just there when I was looking at uh, yeah. images, mm -hmm. but then somehow he ends up coming along. He mm. wasn't supposed yeah. to. Yeah. So, you have a good, good companionship. No. no. Mm. More like a leech. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why are you getting that dream? Is he tolerating something going on? Following your mother's advice about life? I don't know, the thing that comes to mind is yeah. this uh, this girl that I met the, the day before I had this dream, mm -hmm. that's the only thing that comes to mind, but mm. I don't know. Um, I, I felt like when I was talking with her, yeah. that, <clears throat> um, I don't know, it's, yeah. it's kind of like I was still um, holding on to something. What that drew for? How did that play itself out? <clears throat> um, well, our interaction ended. Oh. Where I think it could have kept going. Hmm. Would that have been something you would have desired? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. What's it doing? What's it doing? Cutting off relationships, huh? Yeah, but I don't see how, where or how it did that. Where did that that day? I, I just that event comes to my mind, but well, like I could say, I was. Uh, what did you say about her? What were you trying to do? Did it work? I don't know. You have to tell us. Well, it was a very uh, spontaneous uh, meeting, and uh, you know, this girl is attractive, and I'm interested in her. It was it was quite a it was quite a genuine um, interaction. The way that we talked to each other. No, oh, what happened to her? Come on. Well, like she uh, she had plans to go to go somewhere, but. Uh, like, I feel like if I had uh, suggested, or if I had been in a different state of mind, that I could have um, continued interaction with her. But it's like I got um, stifled or stunned or something. You're not telling me. What, what happened? Come on. What happened? Literally, what happened? Well, I just want to know what turned it off, that's all. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, she said she had plans to go at that moment. She's letting you know. <clears throat> now it's your move. <clears throat> what did it require of you? <clears throat> Well, I was supposed to take action and, um, oh yeah, I was supposed to take action and make, make a, um, make a suggestion and say, hey, let's do this. Or, oh, um, offer something else. Right. Oh. But I kind of just let it, let, let the river just go by. But what state of mind is that? And how does that relate to the dream? Did you let your dad just get by in the dream? That fourth paragraph.
there's a kind of uh, going along with it, uh, yeah. go, going along with the with the program. Or, yeah, yeah. Um, not. Uh, that's that's uh, the mother's good advice. Yeah. Yeah. Is that called the problem? Yeah. Oh. So you watch that on something that you not only found interesting but genuine, that you were relating well. She laid her cards on the table. And what did you do? Let it go. Yeah, let it go. I kind of held on to my cards. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who's that, by the way? At home? My mom. It's also my dad, but I think it's m more my mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Must have been a real good teacher. Time to challenge? <laughs> yes. Huh? Thank you. Thank you. you your printer does well on Jack Mode. Your printer does well on Jack Mode. Mine doesn't do well. No, I was, sorry. Thank you. Meta comment. Thanks, Ben. Pleasure. Thanks. Pleasure. And you can sit in this chair. Oh, I don't have one. Oops. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Thank you. Did you get one, Jeff? Did oh. you get one? Mercy, Baca. This is long. <coughs> Real long. Yeah. Yesterday. Uh, what was it about this uh, dream that you wanted to review? It? Like what, what was it about this that you I wanted? Had it? A dream yeah. Okay. But apart That's from that, it. huh? That's about it. Well, how does the last line relate relate to the first part? I think I switched the light on, or I walked in, and by doing so, the light switched on. That's true. That didn't answer the question. The last line? Yeah. yeah. How does that work? Relatively above. Oh, I wasn't sure whether uh, I walked into and switched, or, or I walked in and the light was there. I wasn't sure. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm just. I had it yesterday. I never had one. Else. That's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm not. Good. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay. You need to talk about something else. I'd rather talk about this one. Uh, well, I'm not too sure. Okay. Go ahead. Um, notice the description on the top paragraph. Yeah, I think the reason is, is because I found it interesting that the light folded like there was like two starts to it. Like it just didn't turn on, but it was like 
it was another, it was like on top of each other or folded into one another. And I thought that was odd. Not so much that, yeah. It was an odd, odd sensation as well. It was like, what are you doing? Like, what? Well, actually, what's happening? So. So, uh, could you describe it, please? The folding in? No, the folding. Light, yeah. what you just described as the light. Well, when I walked into the room, I, the first thing I remember was that I, it seemed like I switched it on or the light was there. And it was like one, two. It was real fast. It was like, it was bright. It was quick, and then somehow it repeated itself, like I what, switched it what, on. What was the difference between the two lights? Mm. Mm. It seemed like the, the first one was brighter, the second one folded into it, like seemed to I don't know how best to describe it, but it was like like two clouds, but it was brighter than that. It was like the first, and then this one just, the second came under it, or like folded. Yeah, yeah. unusual, rather. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. What yeah, like, uh, like a cloud. Maybe. <coughs> but but it's not, what it, it was odd. What, it was like... Yeah, but what effect did it have on you? of it was odd. It made me feel like um, or, or the effect was odd. Like, what's happening? Um, it caused me to think what is the um, what's happening. It was different than when as soon as the light switched on it was... Yeah, but what did it do to you? Thinking about it, what did it do to you? More bloated. The second, the second one was as it went under with not bloat, but what? If not bloated, what? Not sharp. Not like bloated. Um, what I would consider to be like a, 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 a dowel, a, 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 a Yeah, that's very likely. By the way, what did it do to you? I think I have something for you. Well, I, I'm forgetful. No, I am. Caused me to. What is? What is, did it do to me? Yeah. Well, I remember pulling back. Yeah, because. Didn't know what it was. It, but that was odd. That's what I remember. 
so the impact, what, what did it do to me? It pulled me back and I thought it was odd. And <clears throat> there was a sense that I just I didn't relate or didn't like that sensation that the second part light did. That's right. That's why I want to know about that sensation. Come on. Oh, well, it was like, like, like having a, de like either being in a cloud or in a down, uh, like a down pillow. It was not as... <clears throat> I don't mind you using that expression, but it doesn't catch what you said. Well, it does. Because a down pillow, someone might say that. You know, pretty soft and nothing threatening. Or... But this one, there was something about it that. Uh... Well, it wasn't. It wasn't just. It, it wasn't as clear. It wasn't as crisp. And as the first, it was like. <sighs> So you had the, the expression, I, you know, I wondered about what it, what it was going to do to me. Yeah, I pulled back. Yeah, yeah. Now at that moment, what was it like? I pulled back. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I pulled back. Well, I, I just was in a... Uh, unsure. I was uncertain about it. I was un uncertain about what what this was. What was happening? It did, yeah. I didn't like. I didn't like it as much as I did the first one. It was like, what are you doing? What's yeah, uncertain. You didn't know where it was going. Right. Yeah. Now what's that state like? Didn't know where it was going. Insecure, uh, uh, dangerous, not sure what could happen, not prepared for any, anything that could happen. No, I, <coughs> hmm. no, I think you're right, you know. Got to know ahead of time about things before you get into them. Especially those in color lights. What? Yeah. Yeah, what do you mean, yeah? Well, that light was uncomfortable. Yeah, was uh, because after all, you didn't know, where, right? I, I didn't know where it was going. Yeah, yeah. well, was, what, what kind of state is that? Hey, what kind of state is that? That's the state that I feel in the I didn't know where it was going. Not prepared. Possibly dangerous. But you didn't sure what it would do to me. I pulled back. Got that state that we just described in those words? Yeah, I think I'm, uh, what? Um, I don't know why, but the, I have just had an image. But I mean, like, I, the close. I'm not so sure. Yeah, well, if you're not sure, don't do it. Well, I'm just not sure. Yeah, yeah. But I do see the distinction of the crispness, the first kind of first. Yeah, but it's second your second one. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pulled me back. By the way, that state of mind that we just described, right? I didn't know what to do with it. Didn't know where it was going. Kind of like your head's foggy or foggy. What, what? More foggy. The impact was yeah, but foggy. It, but you weren't, you say you weren't prepared for it. 
wasn't prepared for that difference. Yeah. 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 I was I was okay with the first one. Yeah, for some yeah. Well, what's reason, that like? Come on, what, no, no. Was what's that like? I wasn't difference. prepared for it. I didn't know where it was going. Oh. <clears throat> right? Maybe dangerous. Or the change that, like. Yeah. Go is, back to the state of mind. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh. Uh, I mean, I can tell you what came up, but Go I, ahead. I don't know. Yeah, no, it's okay with me. I don't know. Um, I just remember when my when my mother was cooking. We were out in the backyard, and she was cooking breakfast. I've talked about this many times. Uh, come on, I don't care. And I, I, for, uh, I forget about these things. And I was playing. I was playing with my sister and brother, and I think even the neighbors. Uh, came over for breakfast. Uh, there wasn't any fence between our yards. It was just plants, just shrubs. But I was playing, having lots, you know, playing. It was maybe about uh, eight or nine. Were you going to say having lots of fun? Lots of, yeah, well, I was. I was yeah, playing. Well, and that's I what think it my sounded brother, like, but you didn't finish it. I think my brother and sister, we were chasing each other. No. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, now what you do seeing that? And I remember jumping like I was turning and I was jumping. And at that point I ran into a hot pan. My mother was carrying the hot pan to the table. And and, and there was that kind of shock of of light. It, it was actually like what just happened. <laughs> hmm. And uh, my the the pan hit my stomach. By, by the way, that's very unusual for a pan to hit your stomach. No, my mother was carrying it to yeah, the table. Oh, you don't think pans hit people's stomachs? No, my mother holding it. I ran into it. So. Oh, you ran into it. No. Well, she should have been watching. What do you mean she should have been? Well, because she's carrying the hot pan. And she should have been watching all of us kids, making sure we were. Well, she did. She was watching you, and she knew there was something going on that she didn't like. Yeah, I guess she was watching it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were having fun, huh? Open? Pretty open, yeah. Just yeah. just like very, in fact, I would say, very, well, like the three-year-old scene, or just very open, yeah. no problems, yeah. Son, yeah. didn't anticipate nothing. Yeah, yeah. No worries about what may come? Nope. But now you have worries about what may. But now you have worries about what may come. Always. Because you blame yourself for that event. <coughs> yeah, there's an element that I still blame myself for those events. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like my mother it worked. said, "Why don't you watch where you're going?" Yeah, and wait I'm a supposed to. Wait. But pay attention. No, I no, pardon me, be... pardon me. How much would you pay? Pay attention. <laughs> I don't know, I didn't ask what, is, what does that mean? Come on. Pay attention. What are you talking about? Well, that's their common, my dad and my mother, that's all they say. Pay attention to what you're doing. <laughs> How about them? <laughs> huh? Well, you can't ask that. Because well, why not? Because it won't change it. You still have to be aware of what they're doing. You can't trust them because they, they could say, sure, sure, but you know, it doesn't mean the next time. It's interesting. So now you have to worry about always what might happen. Yep. Right? Yeah, which I do. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it's time to get rid of that? 
I don't know how. I'm terrified. Oh, no, no, it's easy. Oh, yeah, how? Drop it. <laughs> yeah. There isn't any way. Yeah, well, then I'll get shot, or I'll get a pan in my stomach, or no. oil on my hands, or something. You might have died. Something. Try, no, no, you can't do it if you take the blast. Mm. I take the blast. You well, can't ask her. I'd like to go along with you, but it's this, this terrible knot that happens that, okay, if I go along, something bad's going to happen, so stay with your old rules. <laughs> you know, it's not easy. That's the, le that's the lesson. Stay with the old rules. Yeah, stay, watch out, make sure you right. anticipate, pay attention. Yeah, because you can't challenge that. You can't challenge what's going on. I agree with you. It's very dangerous. What's that cost? Well, I couldn't, I couldn't challenge him at the time. Uh, I by don't the way, know what of course I need you to could challenge bullshit. now. Hey, of course you could. You chose not to, given what yeah, you were saying. that's true. That's true. So what's this costing you? Well, keeps you from saying something, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I can say you watch out. Don't tell me to watch out. Who's carrying the pan? Yeah. Um, what is that for? My mother would say, don't, don't be a smart aleck. Don't try, don't talk about me like that. You take care. You're the one that was playing around. You should pay attention to that. What do you think what you're down saying? With my mother? What she said. Yeah, come on, put it, put it in words. Come on, time to. If my mother, I would say, Mother, you're carrying the pan. Who's responsible? You're telling me I'm responsible for watching out for you. What is that duty to say that? Right now? I, hmm? Seeing it that way, what is that do? Well, that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to watch, make sure I watch out. Don't cause any trouble. I, did, I didn't ask you that. I asked you what it was like putting that in words. Oh. What you just expressed. Now. You went back into the blame game when I asked you that. Actually, I don't even remember what I said. <laughs> it's like, okay, what did I just say? Oh, it was as if you were answering them. Um, what? Come on, what, what, you um, that? what could you have said? Mother, don't blame me. Watch what you're doing. Who's responsible? You're the one carrying the pan. What is that to you? What is that, uh, what does that do to you? And I'm young, too. Uh, what does that do to you? Right now? Well, it's, it's sort of freeing. Sort of freeing, but I, I'm just nervous. It's like, you gotta watch. <laughs> it's not, like I can do a lot of things now, much better than before, but there's still a level that I'm not, I, Say, uh, <clears throat> is it possible that you were at school yesterday? Uh, day before. Day before. Day before. When did this occur? Have any discussion with the supervisors? Uh, People like that? What yeah, happened? I did on Thursday. Yeah, what didn't you say?
mean like I see a good in what I'm doing, but I want to do the uh, interviews and yeah, the kids yeah. won't yeah. What happened? Come on. What happened? You know what happened. Oh, did you? Um, Does that state yeah. of mind come in? Come on. Does that state yeah, of mind? because I didn't tell my supervisor what exactly I gave up. In other words, um, I'm doing what they're asking me to do rather than doing what I'd like to do. What I think is important to do. What's that costing you? I don't know yet. What? I said I don't know yet. Yes, you do. Is and that something to do with the study you're doing? Yeah. Oh, what will that do to your study? If you follow along with their record, their suggestion, give up what you're saying. You don't know? Uh, actually, no. What? I don't. That's but what? I do know that it would be it, it would be very difficult to get the students that I am getting um, to come in and even do what I would like. They wouldn't do it. So Is it possible you can get back to the subject? Can't do what? Well, I, I can't say what I would like to do and stay oh. with it and oh. have them make sure that those kids come in and see me like they should, whether they whether they think it's a good thing or not. I feel like I'm taking you know, I'm taking the students' time, I'm taking staff's time, I'm taking people's time. Yeah, you are, by the way. That's what the job is. But I feel like I'm kind of like a secondary person there, not somebody that is primary. Hey. I didn't feel that way until this whole thing came in where I'm doing half hours. I felt fine before that. I felt fine doing whatever it was I was doing before this event, and now, what is it, what do you... I don't like doing the half-hour trip with the students. Uh, why didn't you say that to the instructor? I did. And what happened? Well, did she, you stop? She told me that I could do it later, I could do my own thing later, but these kids aren't going to come back. Pardon me. Could you say that? Why didn't uh, you say what was on your mind? Did, uh, did the supervisor happen to have a pen, a hot pen in her hand? Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Saying that, you know, I won't, you know, that I, I won't be able to continue with the study. And stuff. There it is. Say it again? That she could pull me from the study. Hey, it must have been pretty serious. Yeah, it was. The whole study is now at risk. What was threatening? Come on, what was threatening? What was going on that was so threatening that the person was willing to say to you, hey, if you don't do what we're telling you to do right now, this is the end of your study. Come on, what was the issue? Now you can keep it to yourself if you want. I don't mind that, but you have to see it yourself. I mean, I'm compromising, but... What is the issue you're compromising on? 
what was the significance of this person who wanted a change in the design, I presume, of your studies? I don't really know. I, for some reason, I, I have a feeling it was one person who came and talked to the counselor. And I remember that person. It was one of the first ones I talked to. And I did do the questions I did. Then what's going and, on? Come uh, on. She pretty much, I remember her attitude was, okay, I'll go through this questionnaire for you, but I really don't need it. I've already made my decisions. I know what I need to do. I don't know why I'm spending the time here. And I think after that, I noticed that that's when things changed. She went and talked to the counselor. Oh, if it didn't matter, then why is she talking? Why, uh, why is she talking? Well, yeah. she's, she's... Why is she talking to your supervisor if it didn't matter? Oh, well, I don't know. Well, you better. Well, then she was angry about going through that. She didn't. There was something she didn't like going through those questions. She didn't like answering a certain kind of question. Right. Well, I haven't met one of those people, actually. That's interesting. All of them have been very forthright and volunteered. So, come on now. What should you have said to but your instructor? Come on. What should, what's going on? Something came up enough for someone to say, hey, if you don't blah, 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 it's the end of your study. What the... What the yeah, I don't know what she said, but I, I, I can see that she was not happy with having gone through the hour. She would rather have just been five minutes, ten minutes, and then sent off. We're, we're talking about the supervisor. Oh, I never told the supervisor that. Pardon me. Did the supervisor threaten your study? Yeah, she said, cut this in half. At that moment, you have to explain the effect it had on you and what's at stake. That's the only question we're dealing with. Well, I was disappointed. I was. Did you ask her why? Yeah. Well, what happened? Come on. She she told me that since the other counselors have to give only a half hour, then we want to make sure that everybody has the same amount of time with the student. Uh, that was her answer. Okay. I'm not going to push it any further. Yeah, I'm sorry. Right? Okay. Why? I don't know. Why? She's not answering the question. Oh, she isn't. Okay. Whether or not you should have said something to save your study is not important or not. Yeah. Well, I said it a couple of times, but I got this pretty much the same answer. I know that. The question is, why did you stop there? Well, there's some issue going on. Well, what, it's clear what? that at that point, it was enough is enough. We need to just get these kids through and do this. And that's it. Okay. I can't answer the question. But you have the question. <laughs> Yeah, I have a question. What's the question? Well, why is it that I didn't push her further no, no. or find out what yeah. it is? Go ahead. Why is it that I can't do my study and why do I have to agree with you and, and go along with the, the counselor standards? This is a different this is a different goal. I'm here to do something different. The counselors have a different direction. Thank you. I'm not interested in doing what the counselors are doing. Because you have something different to do. And I have something different to do. That's a much better answer. Now, the only thing I don't know and I don't have to know is what's the issue. She's threatening your study. If you don't do it this way, you're out. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, in fact, it even, it's interesting, it even shifted for, after I was told that these students had ma were mandated to see me, but then it shifted and it became a supplement 
to what they were mandated to do. Now, so, would, you, would you mind telling me, or yeah. if you care to, what are the implications on the supplemental study that you now you, you, like, you change your study to supplemental? Make, yeah, well, to supplemental add a supplemental. Su yeah. What, what, the, what's it say for that for, for that for, for administrator? What's it, what's threatening? Well, on the surf, right now, I think it's that I think that the person sees that I'm doing, I am actually engaging the students, and they are seeing things like I, like one. Well, that's interesting. One student. Um, uh, yeah. Curious. I think I'll stop and see what's going on, and I don't want it on video. So. Okay. Threat. What, if you don't mind, what what is the issue that's threatening? What what? You're not putting that into words. You're not going to be able to deal with it. Well, frankly, it into words. I don't see anything that's threatening for her. She's got she's fine, but I think she sees a threat. So why don't you deal with her presumed threat? Yeah. Yeah. She heard something from that student. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was a, the student was angry. And I could tell there was a sense that she wasn't happy about going through this. And I blame myself saying, well, I was taking too much of her time. And so in that sense, I am not respecting the study, given the fact I'm blaming myself for what I'm doing. Thank you. That's better. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing. Like Good. My mother. So, just like I, I mother. blame my blame myself. Okay. And then, therefore, I won't ever get the study done. And right. It right. Won't be right. Ever right. Good right. 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 I'm taking too much of their time. I said, okay. Thank you. No. One question. Okay. Yes or no? Is it likely that what you already have gained will cause that administrator problem? It'll cost, what I've gained, right, even with the half hour I've done, but and all the, the stuff I've done. That's right, the latter. Uh, the, yes, huh? because even the, even the half hour that I'm doing with these kids, they would not be able to do it. Even, they're, they now want to do half hour sessions. They've all gone to groups. Gina, okay, help sorry, with sir. that. They won't be able to do even the half-hour session. You know, I don't care about that. Oh, okay, sorry. What are you coming up with that, that is likely to threaten the administrator? That's the question. Who cares about whether or not you have enough time, don't have enough time? Well, I don't give a damn about that. We can stay on the issue. Three administrators think they know, they think they know what they're doing, and they think what they're doing is the best they can do, and they're discovering that what they're doing is not the best as they're watching me and I'm helping students. There's something that they're seeing that isn't... Um, that if it gets public is likely to threaten them. Is that threaten right? their ego, especially. It may not threaten them, but it'll hey. threaten their ego. Yeah, definitely. Well, sometimes people defend their ego with uh, <laughs> life and death instruments of destruction. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I All right. You. Okay. I thought you mentioned Better. in yes. an earlier. I just I thought. Yeah, that's you, right. I thought you mentioned in an earlier description that some of the textbooks being it may be a different study. Some of the textbooks being used by the teachers did not, in fact, help with the problems that the students, that they were unclear and confused texts. And that's not a, that, that is, in fact, an administrator issue because they should have oversight. But it doesn't it also show that it's an unprofessionalism, a lack of concern for actually progressing these students? Um, that's the, the, that's on the teacher's level. Yeah, yeah. This is on the actual counselor's level, addressing 
the problems that the students are coming in with, not that they're in class. So that it's on the but net. wouldn't it be, shouldn't it be oversight by someone? Of the materials, of the capacity, the, the, the familiarity of the teachers, the familiarity of the counselors with the, what the teachers are doing, and with the administrators. With the, to me, as a teacher, it shows a lack of professionalism and a lack of taking responsibility on the level of the administration. Now, counselors, I don't know, but it looked like it was showing great gaps in there. Oh, there's oversight. Gaps everywhere. Well, then. But it's then like that's where the issue is that that the, everyone is you know it's like they're all in their separate little world and they all and it's not they, working they, and they all think it's the students problem yeah then um, the, to return to the question again what what is the impact even so far of your study and what is it going to show and well number one this the impact last semester was from spring to fall they came up with the idea of let's have study halls, two-hour study halls every day for certain athletes and certain people. And they mandate the students to go there now. And they're seeing that that's good. Before, hmm. they didn't have that. Now okay. the counselors but are coming in, and they're seeing they're going, they're taking a step further and putting in individual sessions rather than doing just workshops with the students. But if you write up both the findings that led to those changes and the changes, what will that show about the work that you're doing, about the research, and about the school's lack? Uh, no. That there we go. Uh, well, I, I mean, those are those are symptoms. Hey, would you answer? Sure. Come on, you just changed it right in the middle. Well, I don't know how to answer it. It's, what well, does it show? No, it shows about, there's a lack. It shows that there there's uh, there's no oversight. It shows that there's um, a lot of assumptions, like a lot of assumptions they're giving students. They're blaming students and not really understanding. They're blaming students for everything, rather than taking responsibility to find out what's wrong, what's happening. What was, that's what so your study is going to show that. Is that correct? Yeah. So there is there then a reason why they may not want that study to be finished? Oh yeah, that would be like the hospital, or it would be like the medical study I did at the VA where I was brought into the supervisor's office because the interns or residents in the study I did were angry. They weren't depressed, which means impl implied is that uh, there's something wrong the kids are angry at. It. There's an object out there. It's not the kids. So, so you'd have to take a look at what is it that the school is doing. So and you're having angry. So who's responsible in, with, for this situation? Who's responsible? For well, that the one you just described. Well, I'm saying that. I heard the, the comparison. School blames but I'm the kids right. like that medical school, and in similar way, that's what they're doing here. And so, but who is responsible? Well, the teachers, the counselors, the administration, the right, the way the way they perceive studying, the way they perceive students coming to school. So, what are you doing with your report? Well, I'm challenging their view. They're they're just like I challenge the medical. So that you're challenging, belief. yeah, but but so okay. I just was looking at there are certain people who are responsible for a condition. They're blaming. They're, they're putting the responsibility on the people who are suffering from the condition. Right. Any similarity to your past scene? Well, yeah, I was, I was, I was hurt, and my mother's blaming me for that hurt, rather than being responsible for what she was doing. Right. Yeah. And so you're, in order to challenge the administration, you're going to have to do what? Uh, challenge. 
challenge my mother. Yeah. Yep. Sounds to me. And that's the. E hmm. Yeah. Also, is there an issue about whether your mother did this because you were having fun? Yeah. So what would that mean? Well, she's responsible, but what level of responsibility does she have? If she did it because you were having fun, Gina, then it wasn't an accident. Can I presume that? No, yes, that's true. Uh, I'm not sure what you're saying. I, yeah, all that's true. It's not an accident. It wasn't an accident. Well, that it seems to me that level of the fact that she did it not accidentally. What do we call not accidentally? On purpose. Yeah. So if she did it on purpose, does that change the evaluation? Or judgment? No, that's a different judgment, isn't it? If she did it on purpose? Yeah. What's the problem? You have to go? You're looking no, for no, the dog? No, no, I looking for the dog. It's in the Inside. Oh, okay. Okay. So, anyway. I... And perhaps that just was just too far. But it, it also presumes that, that there is the possibility, at least, that the administration is aware. That oh, I'm sure they are. And the teachers are aware. I'm but sure all, everybody are. likes they're, blaming the students. Yeah, but they're, 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 there's evidence that they are aware. Wow. That's even a bigger expose. What does it do to put this into words? Well, right now, I'm hopefully just kind of wondering. Hmm? I'm backing off because it's yeah. on video, so I'm just going to do it. Oh, well, hell, you know. Turn it off. Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, someone you? might see it. I think what you've said is illegal. Yeah, oh my God. They're likely to be busted. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's terrible. Names. I mean, the, the amount of information facts. you've yeah. given. It's dangerous. Yeah. yeah, no wonder you're backing off, damn thing. Yeah. I agree with you entirely. Mm. I'd get upset with Jeff. Uh, Johnny, say, hey, what the hell is going yeah. on? Shit. Recording such terrible things. You could. No, but I do see a similarity between that study and what happened to me at the medical school mm. because um, they were that's that cost me my job at that point because and they were very very spirited. I had to go in to see the medical director and the two people I was working with sat in a couple of meetings with the medical and they made clear that their position was they wanted me to change the data so that it reflected their image. So that adds another level if right. the schools... Right. 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 Have them by the, uh, you know what? Yeah. By the what? I don't know what, you know what. You have them by the you know what, you know what that means? Oh, I have them by the you know what. Yeah. Could have gone to the newspapers and I gave them a nice mm -hmm. story. Yeah. That's right. Right? You have them. You have the whole system on the table. Expose on mm. expose. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't. I went and presented my own paper anyway. Didn't change the data. Well, that was great. And uh, that was what I did. At the very conference that only MDs were supposed to go to, they wouldn't go. Hmm. And yet they are authors on that paper. They wouldn't go and present it. And they wanted me to be first so that they'll be at the end. But, yeah, so I went anyway, but they definitely didn't want me to, they wanted me to change the data. It's normal. normal. So, I see. Okay. Wow. Well, interesting. Thank you. I think you're okay. I'll go stop flying oh, wires. Oh, let me go. Time is in. Thank you, sir. No in-depth study has ever been made that doesn't cause was ever in charge of problem because that's the reason why they brought you in to make the study because they had a problem they didn't understand. <laughs> it's inevitable. But I can't tell you what I see in that. 
kids that uh, that they function. They they treat the whole thing like a medical model. They look for symptoms and then they treat the symptoms. They don't look for the cause. No. And that's what I'm doing. But they're not. They want me to do. That's what this cutting up is. You're doing the opposite thing. You I'm actually are looking for the cause. Yeah. Of the and they're they don't. They just want me to treat the symptoms. Like a medical model. So school's like a medical. Nothing new. Blame the patient. Blame the student. Blame the kid. <laughs> blame the blame the no, the, the people. No. <laughs> not the administration. Not you call the that government. the medical model? Huh? You call that the medical model? Yeah, you take a look at the symptoms and treat it. You don't. And you blame the patient? I've never heard that. Well, you blame the patient if it doesn't get better. You don't look for the cause. You just give them another treatment or blame them for not doing what you want them to do. Or there's something wrong with the patient. I've never heard that as part of the medical model. That sounds more like a moral, moral judgment. Well, it could be. She, she worried about the medical model. So. Oh. Well, what do you do with my story about the fact that I wrote that article that challenged their opinion about residents? They blame the residents, and that's why, and, re and residents should be depressed, not angry. I guess they didn't hear that story. I don't, I didn't oh, okay. Because I just said that that's what it, they're blaming. They're blaming the residents. For what? The residents. They're blaming them for being angry? No, they're... <laughs> the residents, yeah, pretty, no, they're blaming when they, they assume that the kid, the residents are depressed, so they're blaming the residents, they're saying that the re the reason that the kid, residents are, are, are not doing well, is because they're depressed, okay. so it's self, it's due to their self problem, it's not that the kids are angry, if they're angry, they have an object, what they're angry at. They're angry at the system, they're angry at something. So it's not to themselves. So is that treatable, the medical model? The anger or the depression? The anger, not. Yeah, well it is, but you'd have to be an administrator to treat it. You'd have to say, okay, what's making these kids angry? To find the cause. Yeah. But you say they blame them instead of finding the cause. The blame is... To blame, it, yes, they're, they're assuming that the, the students should be depressed. And therefore they are blaming the student. Yeah, I, I don't understand that term, blame. Oh, okay. Oh, what is it you don't understand about it? They're That's saying that the... That's fine. Thank you. Good question. That's what you should have asked. Oh, okay. What do you mean? What, what is it that you don't understand about blame? It just seems like it's not an appropriate context to bring up blame. Like, I think of blame as like maybe there's a car accident and they say, okay, who's at fault here? Who's to blame? Um, okay, well, I'll, I'll answer it. The students are, are at fault if they're not doing well, if they have problems in their residency. It has nothing to do with the system. That doesn't work. When they want to know who's at fault, they do, do not explore why the fault came into existence. Oh, okay. They do not go into the state of mind that produced and caused the accident. So they're not really trying to understand what's going That's on. That's right. They just want to pin it on somebody. Well, they just want to settle say, legalistic and insurance questions. That's all. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, you were finished with this? Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks, Pierre. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let me give you a question. Uh, what is the Trump phenomenon? Trump Why does it exist? <sighs> Trump phenomenon. 
Oh. You can ask Jeff if you're stuck. I always would, John. Yeah. Good, good thing to do. Oh, yeah. Jeff, the cameraman? Oh, no, Jeff. Oh, Jeff, this guy? Yeah. Jeff, yeah. That's true. So what's, uh, what's the question on the table now? What's the Trump phenomenon? What is the Trump <laughs> phenomenon? <laughs> yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've been over that so many times. Uh, well, then just tell us. Belief systems in the service of tyranny. Uh, oh, oh, it's the hope. He'll do better. Hope? Hope, hope yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me check. Is that an answer? No. I was, I think it's a, a backlash to the current or what had been going as mainstream politicians coupled with some hope of a lunatic. Hmm. Well, I would say, I mean, it's God. Uh, let me ask you a further one. <clears throat> Why is it that the that Trump has such loyalty to people that identify with what he is saying and doing are very loyal and they are not disillusioned by the first hundred days? How do you account for that? Right. Um, I mean. How do you account for that? dissonance came to my mind last night when I Pardon heard me, that. does that explain it, truly? Really? Well, the rural people are the people who supposedly s supported him and voted for that's him. Not and those true. are the people that's he's screwing true. the most. Hey, that's not true. Okay, this is what I heard from an expert. What do you know? Well, because <laughs> just because rural people have a certain view, it doesn't mean it's going to swing an election. Especially in light of I mean, the, the populations are in, in cities. You can't. You can't. Oh, hide. okay. Uh, I didn't tell the rest of the story. So um, these same people, though the rural people who did vote for him, um, are still totally in support of him. And so I thought it's like cognitive dissonance, where you change your attitude. Your, your attitude even becomes stronger when what's happening doesn't match up with what you. Our thinking should be it's going called the psychological understanding. I saw the psychoanalysis. Right? I don't know what it is. I just see on the news that it's 96% still favor him. But he absolutely he switches his... He, he absolutely switches... He does double speak on everything. So what? Everything. So what? Well, it's like you can't keep up with him. Uh, People, that is not the reason why they are loyal. I don't know why. They, oh, is that the question? Why are yes, people loyal to yes, him? Yes, that's the oh, question. Oh, that's the phenomenon you're talking about? Th that's correct. Well, oh. th there, there's, a, there's an un, um, unwillingness to, um, to look at causes of things. Okay. And, um, Trump also provides a... Uh, he promotes blame yeah. rather than... I, I got an article. Shall I read it? Yes. yes. Go for it. Oh, oh no, that's not the one. That's another one. That's not it. Maybe I didn't. I wanted your avocado, David. Did it need it? Yes. Okay. I drank it right up. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I wondered if that was an avocado. Isn't yeah. it interesting? Its leaves are looking like a succulent. Mm. I'll have to look at it closer. From here, the leaves just look pale. But it needs to start out in a moderate, moderate environment. Mm -hmm. That was a save from a perceived a a lot of of criticism. Could you pass me my book and my purse that are on the side of that chair? Thank you so much. Ah, there it is. Okay. I had to cringe it out. <clears throat> okay. Okay. See if, now, the reason, the reason I'm doing this is that what constitutes an answer to a question? Oh. <clears throat> yeah, and the I question an goes answer. away. Right? It's my old, <laughs> old question, which I enjoy. Okay, try <clears throat> There should be no wonder 
or a mystery why Trump is still popular with his followers. Hmm. Okay. Okay. All that is necessary is to understand the phenomena of hope. Hmm. First, appear confident, appear strong-willed, appear capable of leading others, and give the appearance of having an unfailing grasp of understanding complex issues with simplistic answers. Mm. Second, promise what those who most ride on hope that through their hopes their desires will be realized. Through their hopes. Mm. Better yet, their secret hopes and desires will be fulfilled. Hope is an un uplifting experience that lifts one up from dealing with the complexities of life. Those who hope always seek others to realize their dreams. They flock around their chosen leader. They gain support from others like themselves. Those who hope really hope someone else will realize their dreams because they realize that hope never achieves one's goals. Why? Because it's not possible to achieve goals without careful planning based upon effective knowledge and the willingness to work to achieve those goals. Hope is empty and is akin to fantasy and wishful thinking. However, the leaders who instill hope in their followers never have to achieve the goals most important to those who are guided by hope. All that is necessary is to keep alive and strengthen hope among one's followers. Hope is the cornerstone of religious faith because it's impossible to prove that what is hoped for is realizable, at least not while one is living. When the hope for goals are unfulfilled, those who hope will always blame someone else and never turn against their hope-inspired leader. The need to sustain hope is like protecting one's dreams by hoping their leader, their leader will deliver on those sacred promises. It always fails. Sorry, makes sense. It's a fantasy, then. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll go back to the question. Mm. Does that answer yeah. the what is the Trump phenomenon no. question? Yeah. Yep. Well, I have a question. You know, there's a university called Hope University. <laughs> well, and they publish psychology books. Of course they do, because <laughs> psychology has become a hope system. <laughs> they hope with their methods that will achieve it. Isn't yeah. Isn't the data, the data is very clear that it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Part, part of, part of the Trump agenda, though, isn't a hope, a hope agenda. It's, it's a, a real agenda of accomplishing certain things. I, I but they're gonna... unrealizable goals. Beg pardon. The hope leader, the hope-inspired leader, will always bring to the surface inner desires that they themselves are uncomfortable with speaking for and striving for. Like I've always wanted to get rid of those people, do that, you know, I can't, I don't want to do it myself, I'll get him to do that. Mm -hmm. It's always. So he's hope inspired, you're saying. You called him hope inspired himself. So, is that a disease he's got, or do we blame him, or what's the deal? I mean... Well, it doesn't blame him. It's describing a phenomena called hope. So hope? he's a victim of hope himself, is what we're saying, seeing. No. Everyone is a victim of hope. That hopes. But isn't... Okay, so... Isn't hope necessitated itself when you don't have Lucia? 
It's not necessitated in that in that real sense of necessitated. It follows. It follows. Here, are you addressing a particular group of people, the Trump followers? Yes. These are the people who they just came out on Wednesday and said, if the election were held today, That's still Trump vote. would still win. Yes. That's the people. You, That's it's right. not the people that are behind Trump. The people we looked at last night. Oh, no. Not the people behind yeah. them. I'm yeah. manipulating them. Uh -huh. so or gaining this, fortunes yeah, with so them. Yeah, so I see where you're going with that. Yeah, you know, that I don't believe sense. any of that, because I think they stole the election. I don't, I think that's all, I think it's all. Well, that's, but that's part of how I they stole I think it's all. That's, that's part of how they stole That's how they stole I that's think it's all what? They stole the election through the machines. And, and, and by the way, for the tape, we're talking about Greg Palast's uh, latest movie, uh, all, uh, the best democracy money can buy that we watched last night. Which was, night. I, you know, I rarely show outrage anymore. I wish I did, because then I'd put more blurbs out on the internet and tick off the NSA and whoever else. But um, last night I was kind of outraged at the begin end of that movie. Me too. Because they, they sang a song of hope. That's right. That was how they concluded the movie. They that's right. What? It was it was this hope song. That's Someday right. We that's, shall overcome. That's it. Yeah. And that was like hmm. that 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 did not fit. Doesn't it did fit. not even fit Doesn't anything fit. that that the guy was putting forth in the movie. Didn't yeah. it, it he, didn't fit he didn't any know. Of the... He didn't understand what he was dealing with. Yeah. yeah. He's, it's, so he's uh, and I probably should have said something last night. I was just like, what? That's a hope song. Yeah. And, and it even should. it even has that in the future. Yeah, someday we shall overcome. Someday, <laughs> that's mm -hmm. how it and ends. And, and the last verse was something about Jesus will do it. And yeah. it doesn't. It's religious. And it didn't fit any of, and it didn't fit the stories that were being told. Yeah, no, 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 none of it. There was two levels to that story. The one was the the. Um, the, the cross check, but the other one was the uh, the financing behind it. So it was like really two movies. What was interesting too was that group that came from the church and went on Sunday yeah. in the van, and he says in the tape that he doesn't he didn't even tell them that their votes were not going to be counted. Yeah. Right. He, uh -huh. he preferred to let them go that they were going to be thrown away. What was the word? I don't provisional know. ballots. He, he yeah. came out in his house. That's what happens No, I, I know that part. But Provisional I'm ballots, by the way, don't get counted unless it's a squeaker. So everybody who sends in a paper ballot and all that, or, you know, sends in a paper ballot, it's Check. all provisional. Check. Uh, is this an answer? What you're holding. Yeah. I think there's a background to it that I'm surprised with is what these people are hoping for, you know? Not that they're just hoping, but mm -hmm. what's important to them, their values, what they're hoping for, you know, it's so... Uh, As always. But it seems very selfish, and it, it comes no, no, out of no, anger, no, no. Pardon right? Me. It doesn't seem. It is. It is very selfish, yeah, yeah. Like, what are they hoping for? What are you talking about? Well, just... Uh, well, the, I mean, to... To go into examples now, it's it's like the whole thing, you know. Just uh, what what this is saying is that the leader awakens their their hopes and addresses their fears yep. and their desires, which ordinarily would be kept quiet. Oh, okay, so I'm just right, about but their desires is what's alarming, right? It's uh, yeah. it's uh, what are they? I don't know, you know, like the whole wall, let's say, you know, to pick one of them, the, uh... But don't you know. they want justice behind that wall, though? Or they think... But it's, it, there's no justice behind that wall unless you're an idiot, you know what I mean? It, it's like, uh, it, it, it's... Oh, see. You, you, look here. The wall is a fiction. Yeah, it's... A, no, no. It, it's a fiction. Yeah. But it represents their kind it, of thinking. It represents their emotion, right? Their desires behind it. Yeah, the wall yeah. is a manifestation. And that's what they visualize with the solve a problem. Right. They always need simplistic answers yeah, in that, order to arouse hope. That fuels their selfish, angry... Uh, 
you know, the view of life, you know, it's like, okay, yeah, let's not, you know, let's just keep them so, out. Uh, let me ask you a question. We'll, we'll be safe, you know. Hey, if this is a permanent element in society, what are you going to do about it? It's not any different than Adolf Hitler. Right. It's not yeah, any what different am I, than, I don't know, man. You hey, know, I'm, wow. we're, we're, in every society, there is this element. Right. So we gave and the Jews Israel. Who's going to give us what? You know. <laughs> but is there any like is hope a part of every capitalist movement? Yes. It's not any different than Adolf Hitler. It's it's so uh, appallingly parallel to it, you know, that that's, that's what I'm saying, the, the, the desires of the people, you know, are so base, selfish, and, you know, it, so you it, uh, call them, if you call them selfish, you're missing the point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not the right word, it's, yeah, it's not selfish. I mean, some people say fences make good neighbors, so they want to have good neighbors. That's not and that was just a one example, thing. though, you know, it's, you, you gotta know. look at the whole theme, you know, that's one example to, you know, I don't know, what else, uh, you got Sessions say, only bad people smoke marijuana, right, it's, uh, it's you know, that's, but, but they, they, the, the whole world is, uh, you know, trying to push for research, there's other country, Israel and Spain, they already have it completely implemented, in their uh, cancer institutes and hospitals, right? But, so, I mean, I'm just picking examples. You know, no, no, the point is that these kinds of leaders will always awaken a fear. Right, right. So, right. marijuana now becomes respectable. Then these inspired leaders are simply going to find another fear and awaken that and manipulate it to their benefit. Right. Well, it, if this issue is correct, then hope underlies it all. It, it really gives a, uh, it really brings out in the open the level of the mentality of the people in our nation. That's, that's what's Would you say then this, this is identified, this article I just printed out? Yeah, 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 yeah. But but it's you know it's one thing if they were hoping because for like world that peace, article, so they were hoping for yeah, like yeah okay I can get another article from the same guy his name is Slanislavski Gazinski. Uh huh. <laughs> that's what that's who I thought it was. We, is it going to be? I recognize his writing. Now that we've identified it, because I'd like to know that. I recognize his style of writing. Yeah. Can we get a <laughs> can we get a copy of that guy's work? Well, I'm going to add something. A couple of things that kind of and reading it out loud that I realize I have to add to it. Okay. But I'm going to put it on all the webs. On yeah, Facebook, etc. Yeah. And, and, and then, and oh, then I'll no take hey. a couple of <clears throat> angry tweets. Send I got a question for black all of you. Are you familiar with the website called Platonic Philosophy? Or Platonism Plat and Neoplatonism? Yeah, Platonism and Neoplatonism. On Facebook. No. Uh -uh. Huh? On Facebook or a website? On Facebook. On Facebook. The group. Yes. No. 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 Okay. Platonism and Neoplatonism. No. Mm -hmm. I can barely do Facebook. So. Are you familiar? I don't with have it a here? Facebook, but I'm gonna. Are you familiar soon. with it? Well, the uh, if you can talk about the owner of it. The admin. He's talking. The admin. The administrator of the. Yeah. Facebook group. The reason I know this is I I saw this paper um, about it. Pierre has a question from this guy. Why did you ask whether we're familiar with... Because he sent me an email and said, I am giving you the website. Oh. You are now the administrator. <laughs> oh, well, that's helpful. He said, excuse me for not asking you in advance, <laughs> but you're it. How many followers does it so, have? So, I'm looking for a volunteer who wants to administer <laughs> this thing, which is going to be a lot of fun for someone. What does it mean to administer a website? A lot of words. He's administering the group. And yeah, but what does that I like, mean? I like the question though. Like, what is well, what, what is involved to do? Yeah. yeah. If they oh, send well, pornographic pictures, you gotta 
Well, there's a lot of There's like the <laughs> simplest. The them. simplest side of it is that um, things can, like um, advertising bots can try to sneak into your group. If it's an open group, they can ask for permission to join, and you have to have a certain level of perception of that's not a person. Which I, when I was administering, which I haven't administered it lately, although I'm still co-administered with Ingmar of the Pierre Grimes group would be that you would click on the name of the person who wants to join your website and look at what they look like. And when, when you see their, um, what do you call that, page on Facebook, then you can tell they're not a real person. So you don't let them into your group. Otherwise, everybody who's in your group will get their stuff, yeah. right? So that's one level is keeping out the obnoxiousness. Another level is if people are um, trolling, you know, being obnoxious mm. or responding to obnoxiousness with even greater foul language and whatever, and attacks, personal attacks, that I think the theory is that you um, then would either would tell that person to clean up their act or you can ban them from the group either temporarily or permanently. So I believe that's all you must do, you know, I mean, mm. in one sense, to keep your group so healthy. Comes but, under the but I'm not a real expert, that's just all I know. Sounds like it pays really good. Yeah, zilch. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I mean, as, as Pierre said, it would be... Of operating? like Keep obnoxious people and advertisers off your group. Okay. Moderation, basically. Group yeah, moderator. moderation. Moderator. Yeah, I think, you I know, like you Facebook. can post anything you want. But my problem is, I don't go on Facebook very often. So I don't think I'd be a good person. I don't know about you guys, but... I'm, I'm I don't have a Facebook, yeah. but I'm going to for my dog training. Is it called Platonism and Neoplatonism? Get off. Yes, it should be. Well, at least that's this the This is the very first the time. time. Yeah, I just got a, another email from, from him. him. He said Saying I, he made you admin? Yeah. You can also tap on somebody's shoulder and make them admin, too. I mean, you can have, I think, more admins than one. Is it a high travel I like group? the other thing you, that he mentions that he's doing. That he's taking your description, your article from the website uh, about Platonism. Right now, I cannot recall the title. And he's going to do a video, a, a YouTube presentation on it, using he wants to use Pierre's material. And Pierre said, "Yes, you may." Yeah, that's true. What is the article called? It's from the. Oh, by the way, is the the seminar in Chicago still on? I don't know. And you, you heard, though, that it was canceled, right? Yes. Okay. Well, the reason I'm asking is because when I went to the Noetic Society website, I noticed it's still the cover page. So I emailed Sean Ophila, Ophila and said, you know, I've heard from Gina that this event may be canceled, so you might want to look into that. Oh, it was just, I left no, it No, I haven't open. looked. I was the only one that applied it. Good. I'm glad to hear it. I don't want to go to Chicago. Really? <laughs> Especially in what is it in May? It might still be. Did you Did you apply and send your payment in? No. No, I didn't. Send oh, my payment. Is Is, is that Donation thing in Chicago still the, happening? Donation for the. That's um, what they were just talking about. Oh, what have they? Remember, sure you told me I could give you the donation for the Besant Lodge. Oh yeah. Rather, I, I, Nancy said two rather I than the check. I was oh, okay. Okay. Off, okay. I didn't Sorry. No, that's okay. I'm tired of living out of a goddamn suitcase. <laughs> but I'm thinking, I'm thinking what yeah, I don't miss would that. be the hope and the blame and the fear in my own issue, my own pathologist. So I was looking at that and saying, okay, well, the fear is challenging my mother's reality. The hope would be somebody else could challenge her. And I can't. <laughs> Somebody the hope else can be, put you'll it be in able to work. achieve your goal, Gina. Yeah, where does hope fit in with the Babylonian? Yeah. He gave it in that account. He said the hope is that you're that you can achieve a goal. That you're gonna achieve a goal when you all you have is the hope, you don't have an exact plan. So wouldn't the variation be what would the variation be in your case? plan of effective means. Mm -hmm. That you just sit there and go, gee, I hope I'll win the lottery. This is not with reference to yours, <laughs> I was just saying. You know, because then I can solve all my problems. Or I hope that so-and-so dies and leaves me a big chunk of money, because then 
I won't have to get a real job, get an education, go for what I'm looking for. Somebody once told me the difference between a dream and a goal is the plan. Fantasy and a goal. Fantasy, yeah, yeah not a dream. Like, uh, Did you have a contract with the school for your project, what? Gina? Oh, Jim. Is there like a, con con a proposal in paper? On paper? Okay. Hmm. That's all. I mean, it's kind of because I was th I was thinking I thought you were gonna like, you were talking about like when I visualized what you were talking about I thought you were counseling them for half an hour as a counselor and then for another half an hour you were doing your project with them and then I assumed it was written up. Could you write it up as a project? Well, I have already in, in some form, but the initial project was left up to me, and Karen and I designed a project. Okay. Not so much that and I let them know. And it's supposed to last a certain length of time? No. Okay. I would suggest you do that, have a beginning time and a certain number of hours spent with the students. and. Like, do you keep them beyond the end of the semester, or...? Well, she's already got a tack, right? You already have an approach you're going to take, right, with respect to this situation? That was what I understood as a result of that, the dream exploration. <coughs> right. So I don't know if she, until May. she does... May. 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 That's yeah, that's where I'm at with those kind of things. I hope. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> but I was looking to see what the hope was. Is it hope that it will disappear or hope that it'll take care of itself or I won't have to do it or where's the hope in it? Those are three just well, it is. The question is uh, what, the fear. what does everyone expect from every pathologist by joining the particular system which is being represented? What do they what do they how do they explain that? With what words? That the system will take care of the fears and their worries. What's that called? Hope. Oh. But in in the path of logos, there's a you blame yourself rather than hoping that the system will change. They don't hope the system will change. Oh. Or hope. Okay. And hope that the system will change as you blame yourself. Well, it takes a certain or you may precision of language at this point. Oh, okay. That you hope, well. You hope, I mean, blame yourself. You went a step further, and now you want to see how the idea of blame fits in with hope. That's where you are. Right. Okay? And right. if you leave that point, then you've lost it, and the discussion falls apart. Right. Your job is to maintain that so that you can't be right taken on tantrums here and there. Okay. Yeah. So what's the relationship between hope and blame? You tell me. I'm trying to figure it out right now. That's why I was enjoying the wait. <laughs> well, if I blame myself, there's a hope that Well, now that doesn't Well, I do blame myself, so... Take yourself out of there. Okay. Is it true in all cases of a pathology <coughs> that blame comes in? Yes. Take yourself the hell out of it. Okay. Right? Yes, make it easier to see.
Good. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Have you got a Microsoft Word for your desktop computer? No. Yeah. What do you think, Elder? Do you uh, see anything? Because I can go and get you any computer. Well, when I think of my... Uh, so you'd have it when you go to Arizona. My talk that we had. Yeah. Um, I just bring it. There's like no, a, no, not your laptop. Your laptop. <laughs> Your, your laptop has that. It's like a web. It's like a web that uh, yeah, will work out. It's not here. Like, no, okay. work out. like when I don't, when I didn't um, oh, I think say anything to my dad. It's kind of a hope that. Yeah, I went to a lot of ones.